here post game. Saginaw Valley State got head coach Andy Wagstaff, uh, senior defender Omar Sinclair, senior forward Michael Shakely. Uh, we'll open it up with an opening statement from coach, and we'll open the floor for uh, for questions for everyone. Coach, great season. Yeah, I'm I'm so proud. You know, so proud of these lads. Um, at the end of the day, there's only going to be one team standing at the end of the season that's not going to feel the way we feel right now. And, uh, you know, unless we went all the way and won it, we knew that this was an inevitable moment. But I, as a coach, um, all you can do is is, um, is train your players, educate them on, on how to act and how to play the game to the best level that they can. And that's what we felt we did this year. And we had complete buy-in with the players. And uh, we're just really, really proud. Uh, I think the hardest moment for us is just the sinking feeling that, that obviously the season's over because we've had some great moments together, but uh, losing the seniors uh, and these two lads here have just been absolutely warriors for, for SVSU this season and four years for Omar and two years for Shakely. Um, honestly, that's what, in my mind, is what coaching collegiate athletics is all about, is working with people like this uh, to get the best out of them. So I'm, I'm beyond proud. Yeah, Michael, I'm um, just talking a little bit about the match tonight, you know, what, you, what we thought who we had an opponent, Ohio Valley, some of the issues they gave us. And then just after that, talk about, you know, the tourney run to this to this day. Um, we came up against a good opposition today. Credit to Ohio Valley. They they uh, they played really well, I think, the first half maybe. Um, they came out a bit stronger than us. Not stronger, but play, were more effective in a way. Um, we made some tactical changes at half time. And I think the second half, if you... Um, I think we, we came out and we probably played the better stuff. Unfortunately, couldn't get a goal. Um, as far as the tournament goes, it's been the greatest experience of my, probably my life, but definitely my college career. Um, I couldn't have imagined this when I went to my old school for two years and moving, coming here, making the Sweet 16. Obviously, I wanted to go further, but I'm just thrilled to be here and I've had a great time around great people. Omar, uh, you know, four-year starter on the back line for the Cardinals here. Had a lot of success, fortunate enough to be in the, you know, the NCAA tournament all of your years. Talk about, you know, the the team in general, maybe a little bit, and then, you know, what, what are you going to think about when you look back on your career here? Um, I think the team this year has probably been the best since I've been in my four years. Like we've got a great group of lads. There's no one that you can dislike on the team at all. Everyone's just bought in. Everyone knows what they need to do, and everyone just wants to improve and just do well. In, <clears throat> in the competition and stuff like that. Okay. And you just, you know, talk a little bit about this, this year's, you know, senior class and then, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, the program in general and, you know, some success you've had. Yeah, I mean, we're in fantastic shape. I mean, I think at one point today we had six or seven freshmen on the field. Uh, we're playing against a very seasoned Ohio Valley team. They were here last year. Our lads, unfortunately, went out in the, in the first round last year. So it's been a couple of years since we've won, won a, an NCAA game. So... Uh, to get on the run that we did was was fantastic. We felt like we could have won the game tonight, um, but overall, I can't be more proud of, of the squad of, of lads that I've got. The four seniors, uh, Jake Rosen, who, who wasn't able to make the trip, he's been injured for most of the season, uh, has definitely made his impact in this program. Brian Sokow is the only player left from when I uh, took the job four years ago, and he's he came in and, and worked so hard uh, to get minutes and, and do well. And, and unfortunately, tonight was, was out with an injury again. We had quite a few injuries tonight. And then, it, and then these two, you know, I, I said to the lads at the end of the game, as much as we're gutted that it's over for these lads, I, st I think it's the start of a new chapter for them. Uh, I think they've both got careers in the game. They're fantastic soccer players. But the most important thing for me is as people, the people that I'm, I'm going to love for the rest of my life and just have appreciated the, the, the relationship yeah. the relationship that I've got with these guys. So we'll hold our heads high and you know, they'll go again in their careers and they'll be great great people in the future and our team will come back next year with a lot of young lads um, hungry to go further than we went this year. For both of you guys, Omar and Michael, what was it like kind of being those senior leaders um, this whole year, make, getting two wins in the NCAA tournament and what, uh, what do you feel like you guys are leaving behind in the, with this program? No, the program's definitely in good hands. Um, I mean, if, like Coach said, the majority of our team wasn't actually seniors out there tonight, so it looks really promising for next year. Um, what was your other point again, sorry? Uh, what do you feel like, yeah, or how, how was it leading this, this group throughout this whole Oh, it's a pleasure, yeah. Um, 
it's not as a, it's not like we lead the group, you know, like we're the senior figures, but it's not like an autocratic style type of thing. We're just we're a group of lads. I'm fortunate enough to get to wear the band, but he might as well be, you know. It's um so it's brilliant. Um, I love working on the coach, and I'm gonna miss it so much. So. Don't worry, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of agree with Shaco on it. Everyone's just bought in. It's just like a great group of lads. Yeah. They're all young. Like we have like five, six, seven freshmen on. They've been all that time, you know. So we're not losing many people, but we've got a lot of people that are coming through, yeah. and they're already like, seasoned in the game. So. I think what these lads have brought to the table is uh, culture, um, and obviously there was a great culture before I took over the job a, a few years ago um, but then there's always a little bit of an in-between when a new coach comes in but these lads have helped solidify our future by making the culture uh, just a fantastic uh, program and a fantastic group of young men that believe in some trademark behaviours that we act and every single day how we, how we are as people and is why we've had so much success this year and why these lads will go on and be great um, employees, fathers, you know, whatever they end up going on doing. I know they've got a few few more years of soccer in them yet, so uh, we're just really proud of them. Anything else for the players or coach? Thanks so much. Congrats on the great season. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.